Hi, this is Rebecca Kroll, co-author of Cold Wax Medium, Techniques, Concepts, and Conversations, and co-producer of Cold Wax Medium, a video workshop. Welcome to Ask Jerry and Rebecca, a video series answering all your questions about Cold Wax Medium. Hello, today's question is about printmaking and how does printmaking apply to the use of cold wax medium? And it's from Susan S. of the UK. And I think Susan's question is aimed at what is the intersection with traditional forms of printmaking, such as monotype, etching, and so on. But I also want to point out before we get started with some of that, that if you've been using the techniques that we teach in our book or in our video, you have been printmaking because the transfer techniques that we talk about are basically monotype. And this involves creating something on a nonstick surface, say wax paper or greaseproof paper, and with, with cold wax and oil or pigment sticks, and then reversing that, flipping it over onto the surface of your, your tacky surface of your painting, pushing uh, down on the back with a brayer, applying pressure, which is kind of analogous to the press that what you would use in printmaking, and that transfers the image. So you've probably already been doing printmaking. Um, but if you're interested in more specifically um, forms of printmaking that we think of as prints, then that, that's what this is going to be more about. And it usually involves a press, a printing press, etching press. And um, so it's a little more, you know, you need some special equipment for this. I have an etching press in my studio, so I have been playing around with this. And I also have a printmaking background, because when I first went to college, I was a printmaking major before I discovered painting. And when I'd been painting for a number of years and started using cold wax medium, I cycled back to some of those ideas and tools. So when I started using the brayer, that was a printmaking tool. And the whole idea of transferring, which I did use early on and from the beginning, uh, did come from making monotypes. So that's why it feels good to me and natural to me to continue to experiment with this, and I do enjoy this a lot. What I have done in my own work is usually um, on top of a monotype that is created with printing ink, which is stiff and, and not like cold wax medium and oil. It has much more body. It's an oil-based ink, the ones I use. And I use Arches oil paper so that when I go back into it with oils and cold wax or RNF pigment sticks, I, I feel quite secure that I have the right kind of paper under there. So I'm, I'm going to hold up one of these. This is a really simple one, but this is a, um, a print that, this is a monotype. And the, um, the black area that you see is the printing ink done on the press. And the orange area is um, a Lizarin orange by Sennelier paint, oil paint mixed with cold wax medium, and just squeezed over as a, squeegeed over as a glaze. And it, it makes the whole print kind of pop. Before that, it was just black and white. And this is an approach that I, I enjoy. Sometimes I work more thoroughly with the paint. I find it quite challenging. Um, I try to sometimes use opaque paint as well as transparent, and the challenge is to not obscure the print completely. I think if we're used to just adding layers and layers, uh, that's the way I paint, um, pretty soon that print is gone. So what I enjoy about the challenge is allowing the character of the print to be there and to be interacting with the character of the cold wax and oil paint. And I've done a lot of these and only have a few that I'm really very happy with, but I enjoy the challenge. Uh, I've done this with dry point etching as well and using just a plexiglass plate and a, a metal point to draw something printed as a print using printing ink. And then I have a line, a base of lines underneath on which to paint. And that's an interesting approach. Carborundum printing involves creating a plate with um, a grit, a metal grit, and um, also have done some of those that include cold wax medium over the top. So I let the print um, dry and then I go into it. 
And um, like I said, experimental, they don't always work. And there's no going back. I mean, once you cover it, uh, the um, print, it's pretty hard to get back to it because we're using, I'm using absorbent paper, arches paper, and there's not a lot of buildup there. So it's a, it's a challenge. Um, so people have asked about, can you print just with cold wax, medium, and oil? And yes, you can for sure. Um, as I mentioned, we do that all the time on a panel, on a developing painting. But you could treat it like a print and just print onto um, a single sheet of paper. And uh, the thing about it, though, is that etching inks and printmaking inks are very stiff, whereas cold wax medium and oil, as you know, has this softer consistency. It certainly has more body than straight oil paint, but overall it's not that stiff and solid. So what you will get is a more atmospheric or soft image on the paper. Um, I think you can experiment around with that, try different pressures. It would definitely be very soft if you put it through a printing press, but if you're just pressing on the back with a brayer, you might get a different effect. And I've also wondered about, I haven't tried this, but something to try putting down some cold wax medium on the paper first, just clear wax, allow it to reach that tacky stage, and then try printing on it. And maybe you would get a different effect, maybe a more solid edge when you do that. Another experimental approach has been developed by Jeff Hurst, who uh, works with encaustic, and he developed a way of using silkscreen with encaustic painting. And Stephanie Dalton, who uses cold wax medium and oil, took his workshop and took it forward, his ideas forward into using silkscreen with cold wax. And there are examples of both of their pieces in our book. And I guess overall, I find this whole realm quite interesting and experimental. Um, I feel like I've only made small inroads uh, myself, and I don't have a lot to offer in terms of specific technical advice. So I say, um, you know, if it, if it interests you, start fooling around with it. Um, and I would I would say, again, I use Arches oil paper or or another paper that if you have another paper, maybe Terra Skin, that is impervious to oil, that's probably a better substrate than printmaking paper. Um, but again, I'm not 100% sold on the that not working because if you had uh, a print down and you had done a, you had covered the surface with your printmaking ink, that would create a barrier to the paper. So have fun. <laughs>